Hey, Dr. Tyler Williams with Pinecrest Dental. Thanks for being here today to check out this video. And you're here because you have some questions on all on four dental implants or full mouth dental implants or permanent dental implants, or maybe even what a lot of people come to us for, which is, hey, should I save my teeth or should I replace them with implants? Uh, how can I get all this done in one day? Why does it take months? Or, you know, how quickly can I get this done or how long is it going to take? And for most people, we find they're actually not the best candidate for teeth in a day because teeth in a day means you have to have a major surgery where you lose all of your teeth. Now, it works very well. We find people get really good results and we've helped a lot of people figure out what the best plan is and get the smile that you wanted. But you don't have to lose all of your teeth to get a teeth in a day implant quality smile. And a lot of times there's a combination of treatments that we do where you get to save lots of or most of your teeth, or we remove the bad ones, keep the good ones, and we enhance those teeth to make them look like implants, which provides a more comfortable, faster recovery, feels more natural. You can chew and eat all the foods you love to eat, enjoy, smile and laugh with your friends and family, and be more confident to get pictures or selfies or family photos or whatever you have coming up in your life. So it's important that you meet with uh, someone who offers more than just all on four teeth in a day because there are implant centers that do that and do that well, but that's the only thing they offer. And the problem with that is if you're not a good candidate for that, they're still gonna recommend that to you because they are a one trick pony, so to speak. So before you jump in and do that, Make sure you explore your options and that when you're meeting with an implant dentist or an implant dental team, ask them, okay, well, besides the teeth in a day or the all on four, what other options would I be a good candidate for that would make my teeth look just as nice? And if they don't have those answers, then you may want to consider getting a second opinion before you jump in. It's a big decision and it's a life altering decision that will impact you forever. So there are three things that we recommend you look at, okay, is you ask, first of all, what videos or testimonials or other people can I meet who've had this done in your office? That's an important one. The second one is, what happens when something doesn't go quite as planned, right? An implant doesn't work the first time or something chips or breaks or cracks, right? You wanna know what their experience is with like that because none of us wanna deal with that but about one in 15, one in 20 cases will have some minor issue, sometimes a major issue. And generally we can work through these and they're not things that halt your progression completely, but they can put a little bump in the road and you wanna know how they deal with that. And then the third one would be options. What other options are available to you besides full mouth implants that can give you a confident Hollywood smile if you so desire, or maybe you just want a smile that's functional and have all of your teeth back, but Ultimately, you wanna be able to learn what else you can have done that can make you look really nice. And one example is we see a lot of people where we straighten their crowded teeth or, or realign their teeth with Invisalign and then do bonding or put porcelain veneers on their teeth that make them look just like implants and then replace the missing ones with implants. It's a lot of fun. It goes uh, very quick. It's very predictable, sometimes more predictable than implants because we know the teeth that you have, your body will accept, they work, and they've been with you for a lot of years. Now, you may have teeth you don't wanna save and you may not wanna save any of them, and that's totally fine, but before you jump in and make that decision, explore that option, meet with someone who has experience in that realm, and then you'll be able to get the smile that you always wanted. So if you have some questions on this, you can call us, you can request one of our books on implants that are a consumer's guide to walk you through what your three best options probably are and what questions to ask. So thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one.